Looks like it's Tesla wrench time. Hi ho, Keegan the vlog here. Welcome back to my home garage. And uh, so remember when I said I haven't had to fix anything on my uh, 2019, <laughs> that's funny, my 2015 uh, Tesla Model S. Uh, another one of the common problems has, has hit me and that is the lift gate, uh, the rear hatch getting stuck in this quasi open closed situation where it's latched but it doesn't pull itself down and the car s just continues to beep at you because it's not actually fully closed. So um, there is a way to get this done uh, and apparently the part's not too terribly expensive, but uh, the trick is, can I get this thing to open? Um, I'm gonna have to crawl on the inside and, and do some magic here. So let's get into it. So I think they said it was the black one. Oh, well, that didn't do it. Okay, well, the uh, plug and unplug trick is not working. I can hear the latch in here being attempted to actuate, but it is totally seized. Uh, so we have to do it the hard way. We've got to remove all this trim, pull that rear that rear section down, and try to uh, try to manual it. There's a, apparently an emergency. Uh, manual release mechanism for that inside there that you know the the thing that you pull to get out of the trunk apparently isn't working either so <laughs> i have a problem with uh with uh trunks these days so if you're stuck in a 1966 rambler you're screwed if you're stuck in a 2015 tesla model s you are also screwed Screws? What are those? They are. All right. Screws. Torx bits. Little bitty Torx bits. what so the instruction said to unplug that from there but since I know since I know that that is the actual wiring harness plug for it I'm gonna, re I'm gonna remove it from there I'll see if I can uh, if I can work out how to get this done without destroying this trim piece. Okay, um, that, the whole mechanism is just seized. It is not moving at all with uh, an incredible amount of force. So, I haven't seen this as an option, but there are three screws that hold this cinching motor thing on. I've been able to release two of them. There's one at the bottom that I'm going to try to get to with a, a really, really thin 
uh, socket and uh, or a really thin driver and a, and a short little guy here. Um, let me see if I can get in there and get that. If I can get it dismounted from the body, maybe it will, maybe it will let go and I can get this thing open. Oh no, I lost the socket. Oh God. Good grief. Okay. I've got the, uh, I've got the cinching mechanism in my hand. I'm going to pop that. Let's see if I can pop that off. All right. All right. That let go. <laughs> Let's see if the trunk opens. Ha ha! I win. Oh. Oh my God, what a knockabout of pure fun that was. Whew. All right, I guess I should go see if I can get another one of these things. Got it out. That was, uh, it's brutal. All right, a couple of notes about ordering parts from Tesla. Uh, it's actually really easy to do. It's just not widely publicized how to do it. Uh, you actually use your app, uh, schedule a service event, select other, and give them the part numbers of the parts that you want. Uh, they reply with a quote, you accept the quote, you pay for it, and you pick them up. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I actually had to figure that out by searching the internet, uh, but once, once I found that little nugget of information, getting, uh, getting the parts were, were really quite simple. Tesla has an electronics parts catalog, so you can look up exactly what you need by car, by VIN number, um, and you get to see the, the price and everything that uh, it lists for. It's really actually quite simple, uh, just a little bit different than other car makes where you have a parts counter at the, uh, at the dealership and that sort of thing. Uh, just works a little bit different with Tesla, but once you figure it out, it's pretty simple to do. <laughs> Funny. Unprovoked box attack. Okay, welcome back to my home garage, and we have acquired our new Tesla part. So, here's the new one. Here's the old one. See that? Like that? This faces that way. Alright, that's snapped in. go. Let's see if it works. Bingo! Cool! Right. In there. One more time for the fun of it. All right, fixed. I just gotta put the thing back, the uh, trim pieces back on. One ringy dingy. This guy in here.
ringy dingy. I think. Haha! -ha, and the lights on. Cool. One ringy dingy. Actually, it's more than one ringy dingy. Lights are still there. There. I, I'm just gonna um, hold this up with the screws and test all the the audio and the lights and everything here before I I finish putting all the trim pieces back on. Okay. Okay. The beeps work again, cool. That light works. We can put that cap on for the emergency release. That did nothing for my problem. Package tray back in. Not bad. All right. Excellent. So that's how you fix the lift gate on a Tesla Model S when the black plug trick doesn't work. Even if the black plug trick does work, you still have to do all that other stuff to get it fixed. $70, about two hours-ish worth of work. One hour and 45 minutes of that was probably making up curse words. Uh, but uh, after getting the $70 piece out, the cinch actuator out, not really a difficult thing to do at all. And putting it all back together was pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And I was only left with one extra part. One extra part. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on something, something, something wrench time. The Jetta giveaway is still going on, so hoping to get that done before Radwood. If we get to 2,000 subscribers before June 10th, we're going to give this car away at Radwood uh, for $2 when we reach 2,000 subscribers. So uh, check it out in the description. Check out the explainer video. Uh, Mark II VW Jetta Turbo Diesel 1986 for $2 when we reach 2,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. See you next time. So I'm a little curious as to why this, uh, this guy failed in the first place. Um, I'm going to take this thing apart and see what I see. Seems to turn freely.
I mean, that takes a little bit of force, but... I have no idea why this thing stopped working on the car. This appears to be working fine. It was locked up solid when I tried to move, move it by hand, but I, uh, I, I removed the gear and the motor turned freely. I put the gear back in and I could move it by hand. So, um, I mean, it's got a fair bit of resistance on it, but it's, I mean, it's a, it has to be a pretty strong, strong little motor. So I would imagine that, that there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that. Um, I'm not taking the car apart back to put this one back on, but um, bizarre. Yeah, I, I just, I just don't know. I, I, do, I have no idea why this thing failed. Uh, it does not appear to be failed at the moment, so. Anyway, a new one is seventy dollars, so we're just gonna just gonna go with that. Um.